Hugh Jackman and the pool. Okay, Hugh Jackman. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that was like, I know. Okay, I get an Apple song. Is it cool? <laughs> Hi, I'm Brandon, and I'm from the USA. Hi, I'm Sara, and I'm from Mongolia. We met in South Korea. And this is our story. Hey guys, how's it going today? Hi. Oh yeah, it's your boy Brandon. And Sora. And uh, yeah, we're outside. We're in no mask because we don't need no mask anymore. What? Just kidding. Yeah, just outside, we don't have to wear mask, but in public, we have to wear mask. Yeah, indoor places. I don't understand the, the logic. Like, yes, this is Korea. Yeah, still, we have to wear masks. I don't understand Korean logic anymore. So, sometimes if we don't understand the people's logic, we just say it's Korea. So, yeah. it's really easy to let it go. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully, my feeling gets better and I don't ruin the rest of the day because of the BS that has happened to me today. He got you bad news this morning. Let me tell you, because I'm going to drop some names, because honestly, I don't care anymore. I got hired by. So uh, I'm really happy. I'm angry, pissed. But you know what? Like we said, that's what happens in Korea. So just gonna get my frustrations out and yelling at this camera. But anyways guys, now I'm done yelling. We're gonna go take the subway and we're gonna go to a play. And it's a very interesting play. You guys, we are barely making it for the train. We're about to be late. We're gonna be late for the play. Yeah, it's okay, we're gonna be on time. Just on time. You know what? My only dream in life is to be in an Abba and Preach video, but it's not happening now. What? But you know what's okay? I'm in a Brandon and Sora video. Bruh. And look, do you guys like my eye makeup? My eye makeup is on point today. And also my hair. Mm. I did my hair like different way. And also like I got an inspiration from Pinterest to do my eye makeup. It's good you guys, leave in a comment if her eyes are good. I hope you guys were able to hear that with the announcements going on. We've been on the train for about an hour. We're about to arrive to the performance hall. Where are we right now? Hei We're at Hei Hua Station. Days ago. No, it was good. I enjoyed it. 
Okay, you guys, so we just finished the play. Nina from Our Town. I thought it was Nina in New York. I mean, it's a short version. <laughs> the short so version. Nina from Our Town goes to New York City. Okay. What made you create this kind of play? To share the story with the Korean. No, no. I think, you know, the subject of discrimination was not something I felt very interested in before mm -hmm. in the past, especially before I went to the States. I realized more and more that a Korean audience and not even Korean audience, a lot of people need to know the really the definition of this discrimination and why we need to be aware of those kind of topics. So I decided to share this story based on my own personal experiences and storytellings. I really enjoyed it. Just Yeah, thank you so much. I saw that you're like laughing and you're dancing with me and Sora was sitting really cool like this. this. Just <laughs> mosh, mosh <nun> yoja. <laughs> yeah, Moshin <nun> yoja. <laughs> there was a lot of like aspects that I could also relate to. Oh, right. Cause um, I'm doing acting and stuff here. And oh, you're, really? Okay. And you're just like, oh, you're my accent this i'm like yeah just right there i right? know what she's talking about oh they're screaming I know what she's talking about right there. Oh, so there were right, so right. many things that were very relatable and oh. I really enjoyed it. Oh, thank you so much. How long did it take you to come up with this plan, the entire play oh. and everything? Yeah, I started to write this piece since 2019. And then I put up show last year. So it would take me two years. Two years. Yes, I did a lot of interviews. This topic is such a, you know, very sensitive topic. Make any mistakes. Correct. And there also, I didn't want to offend any people. So I really research a lot. I read a lot of books about the American history and Korean history as well. So it took me quite a bit, especially researching the contents. You even talked about the Zaichi Koreans Zainichi, in Japan. Right, right, right. So when I used to study Japanese, I knew about them. Oh, really, right. And then when you bring them up, I'm like, oh, I, I can understand the parallel and right, things right, like parallel, that. Right, right, exactly. I mean, me too, even, you know, I was very ignorant. And I'm not saying it's all of them are like this because of the way in Korea was set up because it's all Korean people. Correct. So it's really hard to see the discrimination, especially regarding like a race issue. Correct. So that's the topic I wanted to brought it up because it has been more getting more diversity in Korea, right? There is more multicultural like your families. So I really want to support them, you know? And then I know just to tell everybody that be nice to each other. As I said in the show, once we keep dividing the lines between the majority and minority, anyone could be the target you correct, know correct. Yeah. yeah, I know Korea is becoming a more multicultural country. Yes. The highest yes. birth rate is actually yes. mixed couples. So yeah, of course. things are changing. Yeah, I really hope that they treated her fairly in Korea. They deserve to be. His fiance husband, did he have any culture shock coming here as black man? Oh, yeah. Minus the slap. As you know, discrimination is just such a really uh, complex thing. It's not something, you know, people discriminate against you because you are black. Mm -hmm. There are so many layers of that. He's really tall and handsome he went to really great school so it's a lot of complex things so he didn't really being discriminated against mm -hmm. because there are so many good factors you know people think he's good enough mm -hmm. you know what I mean to be passed but still he's like you know fully aware that those kind of topics or Korean people should know or it's gonna be great to no, I, I, I'm not sure that makes sense though. No, I understand, I understand. So, yeah. Thank you, I appreciate course, it. Of so. course, thank you so much. Any special message to say to people? Hey, Sora, Sora is holding the camera and she's very beautiful. <laughs> and my, the assistant director is filming us as well. Come see the show and we love to have you. And we really, all our creative team made really the show great. And not even myself, again, director and assistant director and our marketing team, all designers. And we put all our energy and love so you guys are gonna love it so come see it and let's be kind to each other yeah <laughs> hard to hard to come some with I say you jamming the cool okay you jam man you understand what I'm saying <laughs> yeah, that was like you know okay I get an apple song is it cool <laughs> Another person. Oh, right. Wow. Oh, right. The suitcase. Yeah. Right. The suitcase. <laughs>
That's a good yeah. idea. Uh, the suitcase, yeah. right, right. Did you write the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. incredible. Yeah, I mean, thank you. It has been oh, quite a journey, but it was good. Yeah. I mean, in the States, a lot of actors, they write, right? Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. that's what I learned from the States. States gave me a lot of things, mm. so I cannot really hate that. I yeah. love States so much, and you know, really, America is my second hometown. Yeah. But I got discriminated, you know. So, so, but it's, it's it's all good. In the end, I learned a lot. You recommend yeah. school? So, yeah, so definitely. I mean, definitely, I recommend school. But I recommend that speaking up for yourself all year. Yeah, we just finished watching the play. I don't know, for me, it was a lot of like stuff I needed to hear. Like today I was really frustrated about the jobs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Even though the head producer, she was very nice and saying like, oh, like next time, blah, blah, blah. It was just a lot of stuff I needed to hear. Right now I'm filming a Korean movie and how she was talking about like I had pronunciation issues, getting like weird roles. A lot of it spoke to me and then she was talking about like racial discrimination in America. There was just a lot of stuff that I needed to hear that helped me today. Yeah, this performance I mentioned a lot of stuff like humanity. Yeah. Like sexual harassment and also discrimination and the racism and subtle stuff. discrimination. Yeah, it was only one person played on every role and I was like Damn. Wow, <laughs> damn, she's good. She and she does it in English and yeah. Korean. So acting in other language by herself is really difficult yeah. and that tells her uh, acting skill. Her acting skill is very high. Yeah. As an actress, she is really good actress and she mentioned mm -hmm. acting is actor. Correct, yeah. You don't have to like uh, read the script or like you don't have to remember the script and it's all about acting. Correct. That is really good thing. And I really enjoyed it. And the acting, like when she cried, and yeah. everything was like touchable. Mm. Heart touchable? It was heart, heartfelt. Yeah, heartfelt. All right, you guys, so uh, we forgot to film the ending. We went to the clay, and then we hung out with Alexis, Joey, Albert, and stuff, got a couple beers and things like that. I can show my hair. And we just went home and just went to sleep because we were so tired and we were rushing to get the train because it was the last train. Anyway, it's another day. Sora went to the gym. I'm gonna go meet her at the skin clinic because I got like a small shooting tomorrow. But yeah, just gonna give you guys an update and talk about what we felt yesterday. Give a more concise, condensed review of the play. I didn't do the conclusion of, of the plays. It was really relatable for us because we are uh, expats. We are foreigners who live in foreign countries. There were so many social issues related to us, including racism, discrimination, and something like that. The play was watchable. We really enjoyed it. The play shows until end of October. If you have a chance, just go check it out. Yeah, and just support our friend Huge in Park. Okay? Check it out. Like, subscribe. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of videos and subscribe. No, like subscribe like subscribe and always bye